Okay, in this lecture, we are going to discuss the fact that the internal energy, enthalpy, constant, spe constant pressure specific heat, and constant volume specific heat of an ideal gas, these things are functions of temperature only. First, let's look at the, the, ex the historical experiment conducted by Joule that's described in the textbooks, Chapter 4, Section 4. Essentially, what Drew did was that he found two systems, two ideal gas systems of the same temperature, of the same mass, but different volume. And he found that such two, two systems would have the same internal energy. And that's essentially what he found. And that established the concept, the principle that ideal gas internal energy is a function of temperature only. Okay, next, with the fact that the internal energy is a function of temperature only and the, the ideal gas equation of state, it's easy to see the enthalpy of a, in, of a ideal gas should be a function of temperature only, uh, should be a function of temperature only as well. Then because enthalpy and the uh, internal energy are both functions of temperature only, we can see uh, due to the general definition of uh, C sub P and C sub V as the derivative of uh, H and U with respect to T, when you keep pressure or uh, volume constant, these two things, specific volume uh, for constant pressure and constant volume, must also be a function of temperature only for ideal gases. However, for a ideal gas, the constant, uh, spe constant volume specific heat and constant pressure specific heat may be dependent on the temperature of the gas. For most gases, the specific heats actually increase with increasing temperature. As we can see from this figure that I copy and paste it on the right of the screen, um, carbon dioxide, water vapor, oxygen, hydrogen, air, they all, their specific heat is all increase with increasing temperature. However, there are some gases, some ideal gases, uh, whose specific heat is actually constant. They're, they do not change with changing temperature. These are the, the so-called noble gases. What make the noble gases different than the other gases is that the noble gases are the so-called monoatomic mono gases, meaning that uh, uh, their molecules consist only one atom, while the other gases have uh, multiple atoms in each of their molecules. All right, the last thing I want to introduce in this brief lecture is the uh, ideal gas property table. And uh, you can find ideal gas property tables for various substances um, under conditions that uh, they can con consider to be ideal gas. For example, here is the table A-17. That's the, this is a table from the Tsengo textbook. Um, this is the ideal gas property table for air. You can see the, the, the table is um, uh, indexed against the temperature of the system. And the uh, other quantities listed in the table are enthalpy H, internal energy U, and the three other quantities. The three other quantities are the um, so-called uh, uh, relative pressure and the relative specific volume, and uh, the um, a uh, a enth entropy um, quantity with a S with a little circle uh, to the head. These three quantities will be useful for us to do ideal gas isentropic process analysis, and uh, you should not uh, be need to you should not need to use them when you try to calculate any uh, energy conservation um, problems. So here you can see for a ideal gas, if the ideal gas for ideal gas air, 
uh, all the properties are dependent on the temperature and on temperature only. So that's another indication that uh, internal energy enthalpy and other things, specific heats of a ideal gas are functions of temperature only. And you can also see that um, the uh, uh, the specific heat uh, of a ideal gas actually changes with the uh, temperature, even if you look at the ideal gas property table.